Okay, so in this tutorial, you will learn how to get a link to your forms survey and get it out to your audience. Now, before you do this, I recommend that you preview your survey and make sure it works the way you want it to. To do this, you're going to click on preview right here. It's going to load exactly as if it will look for your audience, and you can actually fill it out to test it out. And so I put the name in, I'm going to select the technology I have, and I'm going to click Submit. And thanks, your response was submitted, boom, everything works. Now, there's also some options uh, that you'll want to consider before you get your link and send it out. And so you're going to go here to the three dots next to the Share button, and you're going to go to Settings. So we're going to click on settings and you'll see here a variety of options. One thing you want to look at is who can fill this form out. Now, um, the first option is anyone with the link can respond. That means you could give this to anyone in the world and they could fill it out and submit. The other option here, only people in my organization, that means exactly that. And it means that they'll have to sign in before they take the survey. And then what's nice about that is it also allows you to record their name. So even though I put the name in as a question, this could actually um, bypass that question and, and just record the name for you. You can also set one response per person, right? You don't want necessarily, uh, uh, you know, one person to submit several times. Um, you can also set a start name end date if you want to just have a window. Um, and then another interesting piece is notification. So you can get an email when someone responds if you'd like. Okay, so uh, once you've looked at that, you're going to go ahead and get the share link. So you're going to click on share right here. And you're going to grab this very first link here, which you just click the copy button and you've got it copied to your clipboard. All right, and so now you can get this out to your audience. If you have a place where your students are used to going or if you have a tool that you use to communicate with students who you are, you know, uh, interacting with, you could use that. Maybe you use Remind. Maybe you use Microsoft Teams. So you've copied this link. You can now paste it anywhere you'd like uh, or send it out to them through text. All right, that's how to share your survey. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at how you can view the results of your survey.